What's up, everybody? If you was wondering why the video is so late, don't worry. Worry about if your period is late. Worry about if your girl's period is late. Don't worry about what I'm doing, okay? I was masturbating. All right, let's start off today's show. This is Am I the Asshole with the artist formerly known as Dr. Conrad Willoughby. I am a sad man with split personalities. All right, let's get into this first one. Am I the asshole for refusing to leave the house during my wife's book club? Sir, I'm not sure why you were not running out of the house, but let's see what's going on. My wife has a weekly book club with her friends, and I'm really happy that she takes time to enjoy her hobbies and connect with her friends. So far, so wholesome. The issue is that she volunteered to host a club in our home and I'm not allowed to be there while they're meeting. While I don't mind buying myself for an hour once in a while, they meet weekly for three to four hours. Hey, how, how deep y'all discussing these books? Like all y'all better have straight A's in school. Y'all want to sit here for three, four hours every week talking about a goddamn book. She says there's a no men rule. Probably no other woman in this group has a man. So but we ain't going to go there. Because the women share private things with each other. I thought y'all was reading books. Why well, you're talking about periods and the time you got gang banged in college. You're supposed to be reading books. Unless that's what the book is about. You might want to look into your wife a little more. Which I understand and respect. But I also don't think it's fair for them to expect me to be kicked out of my own house for most of my weekend. Especially since I work six days a week. We both work. But I work more days. You have to specify that. I have one Saturday off. I prefer to spend the extra time playing video games, so it's not like I can just take my computer to Starbucks. I offered to put on headphones and stay in the bedroom, but she says the woman will still feel my... Pre yeah, you hanging with some psychopaths. Your, your wife got to do better because her friends are not feminists. They're the extreme feminists where penis is evil, but I needed to survive. All men need to die. Yeah. I've asked if the women could take turns hosting, but she says all of the women have reasons why they can't host, including which I thought was kind of irritating. Some of their husbands not wanting to leave the home for so many hours. So they got the real men and then she got you. You you, you being passive. If everybody else kicked the door down and said, look here, fuck no. I'm not sure what's stopping you. Because if, if you feel like you the asshole, do you feel like all the other dudes the asshole? Because... Mm, Think, think about it. Think about it. My job ain't that hard. I'm a, I'm a great person. Um, this has been going on for two months now. Last week, I told my wife I couldn't keep this up. That's right. Stand up for your rights and your lefts. Don't throw no rights or lefts because you're going to jail anymore. And she had to find a solution herself because I've given her so many options. I gave her the heads up that I wasn't leaving this weekend. I think she thought I was bluffing. But come Saturday, I stayed home. Out of respect, I stayed in the bedroom when everyone came over. But they knew I was there. And I could tell the meeting got cut short because of that. Good. It's a fucking book club. Y'all sitting here talking about periods. My wife and I had a huge row afterwards. Fuck y'all hopped in a boat. Like who? What kind of terminology is this? And here we are now. She's not talking to me and I'm pretty pissed. Sir, there's plenty of men who would prefer for them wives to not be talking to them. So I'm not sure what the problem is. I'm not sure who's really in the wrong here. Hey, look, I ain't gonna, I ain't gonna lie to you, my boy. The only way you in the wrong is not standing up for yourself sooner. I know that's your wife and all, and I, I hate to be rude, you know, as a professional of the medical field. <clears throat> your wife is an asshole. And you going on, this long makes you an asshole to yourself. Not to her. She'll be all right. They, tell them to meet at Starbucks. Like, what? tell them to go to the library. Like, I don't fucking know, man. They're supposed to be studying books. It's not like they just having girl talk. They can do that shit anywhere. Is this sexist? I'm going to get canceled. I don't give a fuck. Fuck y'all. Next one. Uh, Am I the asshole for not giving my stepsister my college fund? Although I won't need it. Hey, look, what that stepsister? What kind of relationship y'all got going on? Is this like Brazzers, Bang Bros, Dog Fart? Why do I know all these names? That's not important. Moving on. T, t, t whoa. Okay, this took a turn. I'm not even going to read that. We're going to go straight to the start. We're not even going to give you the summary. I have a stepsister. I'm 18. I have a stepsister who's 19. We both finished high school this summer. Different school system. I was about to say, y'all, y'all age is a little different. Something, something's up. We both went 
to attend university next year and are currently doing other stuff still living at home. My stepsister is my 58-year-old stepdad's daughter. They moved in with my mom, who's 52, and me two years ago. My ex-boyfriend... Oh, all right, this is two females. I don't know if I clarified that. They're, these are two... I don't know what that was. Anyway, my ex-boyfriend, 19, of three years, and I plan on applying to the same pretty prestigious, expensive university and want to study the same subject. So we wouldn't think that nice. I don't really care about your happy endings. So we still would have been able to be close to each other, continue our relationship. So the boy, the ex, oh, the ex-boyfriend, the sister, and I attended the same school in our prom night, and I caught them making out in the back. Red flag. Flag on the play. 800-yard penalty. 16 first downs and a touchdown and a touchback and touch me between my legs because what the fuck? I don't even need to read the rest of this to tell you you're not the asshole here. Somebody going to fuck your boyfriend and they mad you won't give them money? Fam, they lucky they didn't get the chopper. They lucky they didn't get these hands. I, I'm, I'm going to see the rest of this, but I already got the answer. You ain't even got to work. I don't even know how you came to this conclusion that you possibly being an asshole. All right. Since then, him and the the sister have been together. I sometimes ca ca caught them fucking at our place. We luckily don't share a room. Daniel doesn't, that is the, the name, is Daniel for the boyfriend. Still plans to apply to university, and she doesn't. I don't. Let me, let me reword that. Daniel plans on applying to the university, and I don't. I found another great university that will accept me. I know because it only depends on the GPA and it isn't as expensive. Therefore, I will only need a small part of my college fund. That's what I'm talking about. Be thrifty. Save that bread. Fuck them schools. Fuck the system. Fuck the government. Fuck the world. <sighs> fuck my life. Um, My mom set this fund up with my dad because they both earn pretty good money. It has, earned, it has enough money for multiple years at whatever university I like. I wish I had your parents. Mine smoked crack and heroin, and cocaine, and cigarettes, and drink alcohol. I am a damaged human being. Uh, meanwhile, my stepsister has almost no money saved up for college because her parents didn't set up a fund in time. Now, the issue, because somehow there's a fucking issue. The issue is somebody fucking you. Anyway, not an issue. Lily wants to attend university to keep the relationship with Daniel, but doesn't have enough money without taking a large loan. Sounds like somebody's personal fucking problem. Therefore, she asked me for almost my whole... Ayo, hey, how you ain't punched her in the face? She asked you for your whole money since you ain't finna use... You can have it. You can have a fun. I got a fun. It's called These Hands. This These Hands University. You about to... That was terrible. But she won't need it anymore. I don't want to because I have other purposes for my money. But she and the stepdad are calling me a selfish brat. Well, his daughter is a whore and he's probably not a good parent. So whoop de fucking dupes. My mom says it's my money and I get to decide what to do with it. Daniel recently started texting me, pressuring me into giving Lily my money. Yo, honestly, I don't know how you ain't on the episode of Snapped because I would have been on Investigation Discovery a long time ago because damn near everybody in this story would have been in a suitcase. You are not the asshole and you got a stamp of approval from the artist formerly known as Dr. Conrad Willoughby, DMD. Um, What else we got here? What else we got? Am I the asshole for leaving my sister and her husband on the side of the road? At this point, if it's anybody you're related to, you're probably not the asshole. They probably are, because that seems to be the theme for today. All right, I come from a very sex-positive household. Ayo, if somebody is related and fucking... I got a story about that. I'm probably save that for another time. My parents taught my sister and I about sex, sexuality, and their non-vanilla lifestyle from a young age. I hope your parents wasn't fucking you, because I don't know why they got to tell you that your dad be clapping your wife, I mean, your mom doggy style. I hope your dad ain't clapping your wife. Anyway, they were very affectionate and touchy with each other in public and didn't seem to care about others' opinions. All right, now, I respect it, because I used to grab my girl's ass all up in the Kroger. Then I found out it was a bunch of other people doing it. 
This isn't about me. They lived a very non-conventional lifestyle and weren't afraid to flaunt it. Yeah, she wasn't afraid to suck everybody's dick. One, on one hand, my parents never treated sex as a shameful subject. Therefore, I received a very comprehensive, inclusive form of sex education. This shit is getting a little weird. I'm not going to fucking lie to you. On the other hand, I think I was introduced to many topics at a very young age. As long as you weren't introduced to somebody's genitals, I think this would be like the least amount of scarring we could possibly get for you because this is bad. In many ways, my sister turned out like my parents. She proclaims that she's sex positive, meaning she's a whore. That's where it sounds like this is going. She's sex positive and no qualms with openly discussing sex in great detail at every opportunity. Nah, you, you are hyper sex. You need to calm the fuck down. Like, you ain't titty ass dick balls. Like, calm calm down. That's That's unnecessary. They must be conservative, virgin prude, or clearly hates all forms of self-expression if they don't want to hear it. No, it's like we want to talk about things. Have y'all talked about Oreos? Have you heard a nice song lately? No, you just titty pussy. Like, calm down. My wife isn't a huge fan of PDA. Other than hand-holding or occasional kisses on the cheek. Yo, which ones? Which, 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 which cheeks? Anyway, she often makes... Okay, I, I skipped over some. Well... We're also not the type of people to discuss our sex life because that's fucking weird. Why I don't want to hear about my cousin fucking his wife or my wife fucking my cousin. That happened one time. Story for another time. Angie doesn't like Zara. Zara is the wife. Angie is the sister. She believes that Zara is too conservative and prudish for our family. Nigga, she married to me. She ain't married to you. What you, you trying to fuck her? Because... <laughs> That's all that bullshit that just came into my system from reading that's going back out my nose. Excuse me. All right. Recently, Zara's brother passed away. Angie's husband, Bill, knew his partner and wanted to pass on his condolences. Zara, Angie, and Bill and I all wanted to attend the wake. Instead of taking separate cars, Angie suggested that we ride together. Angie is the person who can't shut up about dick, balls, and titties. To be honest, I was not a huge fan of this idea. It was a two-hour drive from where we lived to our destination. Also, we were planning on leaving early, so we wouldn't you know, have to listen to titty ball ass balls to help set up and plan and leave. At first, everything was all right. Understandably, no one was speaking in the car because nobody wanted to hear about ass and titties all day, Angie. I never thought as a man I would be saying that, but goddamn, Angie sounded like she got problems. At first, everything was all right. Understandably, no one was speaking in the car, and it was very quiet. Most people were keeping to themselves or sleeping. Midway through the drive, Angie and Bill start making out in the back seat of our car. When I say making out, I mean full on making out. They were, mm, mm, they were just saying, mm, 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 mm. that's the most action I've gotten in a while. Y'all gonna let me have that. So, so they, your sister and her husband just basically in the back seat, damn near fucking, which which is wild. So, yeah, me and my wife are very uncomfortable. I pulled over, started yelling at Angie, which probably turned them on more because they're some fucking horn dogs. I told them I was disgusted by their behavior and they were acting like horny little teenagers. Angie said that they were grieving. Nah, because your sister finna get these hands. You grieving. You... You grieving my wife's brother dying by fucking each other in the back seat of the car. Your parents, your parents did this. Your parents are the asshole, number one. And then these two motherfuckers here need to... I can't, I can't make violent threats. I am a medical professional, allegedly. Oh, I yelled at them to get out my car. At first they were protesting because they were probably half naked and he almost had to tip in. I was so angry and so tired of them. I told them to find their way themselves. My parents think I went too far. Your parents need to catch these hands. I'm sorry. It, everybody just needs to catch these hands. All these people asking, are they the asshole? Your family needs to catch these hands because what the fuck are you doing? My parents think I went too far with them and Zara needs to loosen up. Your parents are trying to fuck you, fuck your sister, fuck your wife, probably fuck her dead brother who passed away because what the hell is going on? Angie and Bill are extremely pissed and they're probably still extremely fucking horny. Need to see a doctor, you sick mother... That's it for today's episode of Am I the Asshole? Because everybody's family is full of fucking assholes and all these 
two fucking nice ass people want to come on here asking, well, am I wrong for this person doing something extremely fucking disrespectful to me and I didn't take it? I don't have time for this. Oh, I'm going to Brazzers. Y'all have a good night. I need stress relief. The fuck are you looking at? That's the end of the video song. All right, bye.